Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? Porky here. You know, don't you? You know. Right, first of all, I want to thank you all for liking and subscribing and leaving comments to videos. It means a lot to me. Uh, let's go straight in with some something a bit different, shall we? David Allen against Christian Aimer. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about this one. Dave Allen's like a bad smell, isn't he, that just won't go away. <laughs> he is, isn't he? You've got to give him his credit. He's worked his ticket, hasn't he? Because he can't fight for Toffee, can he? Right? You can't fight for Toffee. But he's likeable, isn't he? But... <laughs> Look, you'll get punched all over by Aimer. I know David personally, and... We know we know what David's punch out output is, don't we? Right. I don't want to hear all these people like John Fury and other people like that saying if Dave Allen turns up in shape and this and that. Look, when has Dave ever turned up in shape? He might look in shape, but actual punch output shape. When has he turned up ever, ever in fight condition where he's throwing punches? Nick Webb fight, he were losing that. Brown fight, he were losing that. So when has he turned up in shape where we're seeing him throw punches? I don't want to hear all this. It's Operation White Rhino 8.5 and all this rubbish. I want to see some punches thrown. I don't want to see it blocked by his head. I want to see it punches thrown and his head moving from side to side. But I think he's being fed to... At Lions or thrown under a bus, whatever you want to call it. Aimer is way too much for Dave Allen, way too much. Uh, but David will keep getting chances because he's created this Mr. Humble routine, hasn't he? Man of the people. And you people like Boxing Social, IFL, he's piled them up and he's manipulated it, he worked it to his worked his ticket, he's done well. He knows he's done well, but the moral of the story is at, at what detriment to his health has he done well? Because all I see here is he's getting his head punched all over the place by Aimer. That's what I see. Aimer's a wily old fox. I don't want to hear about all that. Oh, I've been sparring Usek. He's there to replicate Chisora. And, and I was saying Chisora beats Usek. No. Dave Allen's gone to spar Usek to mimic Chisora, which he can't do. So he's gone there. He'll have been punched about by Usek, that's it. Does that mean that he's ready now to fight Aimer? No, it doesn't. It's just, it's just lip service. What's happening with Dave Allen is happening in front of our eyeballs. Nobody's saying a word, either. they're just letting it all carry on. Oh, it's Dave! It's good old Dave! He's, we, he's humble, he's a humble guy, he's one of your own. He's had his head punched about now for the last few years. And nobody's saying a word. I mean, it's only 15 months ago that he's saying that he's a tired old rhino and he needs putting out to pasture and he's had enough and he's retiring. That was 15 months ago. Since then, we've had the Dorian Darch fight, which is still under investigation by, by the... The authorities, they've only stopped the investigation because of the pandemic. So the Darch fight's been still investigated. So well, that's, that's all he's done since then. And now he's in with Hamer. I mean, why couldn't they put him in with Tom Little and build him up? I mean, what happened to Dave saying he's got to start again and build up and go through levels? Area, English, British, come off European world. You can't just keep jumping in with European guys because you're missing... Area, English, British, Commonwealth. So you're missing four levels and jumping in on level five. That's like somebody playing for Donny Rovers and going and getting a game with Real Madrid. Coming on for the last 20 minutes as a goalkeeper for Real Madrid. And letting three goals in. Am I right? Where's his head at? What happened to building up and getting a belt? Learning your craft, Tom Little. People like that, Babic. Fight people like that, Fabio Wardley. You might get them after aim a fight, but it might be a bit too late then. You, you know, you, you've lost more brain cells, so I don't get it what's going on. 
Obviously Eddie's looked at the numbers and thought, well when Dave fights, they have a few more extra buys in Doncaster from pay-per-view. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, but we're watching somebody get punched about upside down every year. At least once a year they're letting him get smashed about. We had it last year with David Price. And now we've got this year with Amo. I mean, when's, when's it going to end? Who's going to put a stop to this? Is Jamie Moore? No, because they're getting the cut, aren't they? They're not going to say a word. They're just going to tell Dave, well, Dave, if you train, you can do this and do that. I don't want to hear about all that if Dave turns up in shape. We seem to be going around in circles with this. It's been going on for far too long. Who's looking out for Dave Allen? Who's advising him? Is he putting money before Elf? Who's advising him? Who? Who's advising Dave Allen? Who? Going in there with Hamer, Tyson Fury fought him before he fought Vladimir. Hamer is way too much for David. Way, way, way too much. That's just my opinion. And it's sad. It's in front of our eyeballs. We've seen it with Golovkin, with Kel Brook and then Spence. It was in front of our eyeballs and now we're seeing it with Crawford. What well, same is happening to Dave Allen but on a lesser scale. It's in front of your eyeballs and people just keep turning away, don't they? And you know when Dave's talking like a ridic bow like that? Nobody will give a flying hoot about him. Nobody. Because that's the nature of the beast. So, Alright, so peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. Alright, don't have nightmares, David.